Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Welcome to Minute FX. This is um, Ezra, the Harem King Trader, and I hope we are all doing well. All right, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please try as much as possible to click on the subscription button and also click on the notification bell so that you can receive notifications when videos like this drop on the channel. All right, thank you for doing that. All right, I'm going to be talking today on risk management and then I want you to, you know, watch the video to the end. It's going to be um, a serious source of knowledge to you on risk management. Now, what do they call risk management? What do we call risk management? Why do we need, even need risk management? You know, risk management is just um, a form of um, set of rules that have been laid down to manage our risk. So we have, everything in life is a risk. So what did you set on ground to manage the risk you take so that you don't take excessive risk? What are the rules? What are the laid down principles that you have to be able to manage the risk you are about taking? So that's the essence of um, risk management. There's no serious concept um, outside, you know, laid down principles to manage your risk. So today I'm going to just be focusing risk management on forex trading. Like I said before, I'm a synthetic trader and I'm going to be using synthetic basically to work on this. I hope you get blessed and you get knowledge from the video. Now on the screen, you can be able to, you can see um, charts, you know, displayed. I have done, I've drawn a line chart representing what I want to teach. Risk management is the title, how to calculate risk on synthetic, and then, you know, what is RRR risk to reward ratio, and then how to calculate your lot size. I think those are the things I want to talk about. Now, um, like I said before, this is, we have a range high, a range low. I've thought about that. If you have not watched it, go to the YouTube um, video section. You're going to see video where I, where I talk about structure watch it it's going to bless you really good there's also video in the video section that spoke about our key levels try and watch it it's going to bless you so we have a range high and a range low most of the time since this is a buy structure we are looking to buy at a discount level on our fee so discount level on our fee so that's what we are looking to buy from but then where is the discount zone on our fee so let me mark this discount zone with a rectangular um, shape. All right, so this is the discount zone on our feed. So now this is where I'm looking to take my buy continuation from. That's where I'm looking to take my buy continuation from, that rectangle you just saw. All right. Sorry. Okay, so now. This rectangle here is where I'm willing to take my buy position from. And after I've marked this, my, you know, some people like aggressive entry whereby they just set limit and then boom, they are gone and then off to do something else. Some persons like confirmation entry. Confirmation entry is basically going to lower time frame to wait for, you know, signs that is really ready to continue in the um, direction of the major trend. So a lot of people have different kind of signs, but we also have our signs you can go there's a video for that also in the video section so try as much as possible to watch it now the best thing to do is um you have to measure the amount of points you are risking on a particular trade measure the amount of points you are risking by putting your horizontal line on where you wish to enter and your stop loss had to be below the zone so your stop loss should be around here now you measure that like, for instance, I know those that are using phone might not be able to relate with this, but I've made a video on risk management before using a phone. So you can go there and watch it. This one is basically, you know, for everybody, how to calculate. Basically, I'm going to explain everything here, but you can relate for those that will use phone to trade. You can relate with it using my other video using a phone. So now you pick a ruler tool and then you measure from this place downward, measure it. This is about 14 pips. 
stop loss. Now, this is 14 pips stop loss. Most of the persons do not know how to calculate, you know, how many loss they are supposed to use and all that. So now, this is you are risking 13 pips stop loss. So now, how do you calculate? Um, how do you calculate? All right, how do you calculate? How do you calculate your lot size? Now, this is the amount you are willing to risk, $5. Stop loss is about 13 points. And lot size, how do you calculate it? All right, how do you calculate this? Now, lot size equals amount over stop loss. Amount over stop loss. So when you have the amount you are risking, which is $5, you divide it by the amount of stop loss you are using, which is 14 point so 14 point is the amount you are risking so let's go to calculator and check how much how many loss size we are going to be using on this trade how many loss size are you going to be using on this trade how many loss size are you going to be using on this trade how many loss size are you going to be using on this trade all right this is the calculator all right so let's go straight you have five dollar for a risk divided by the amount of pips you are you are willing to take for a risk which is 14 which is equal to this so the amount of loss size you'll be using on this trade is 0 0.35 on this trade so now let's calculate whether we we'll get as a two 0 0.35 times 14 we should not get more than five so this is 4.9 so now this is an accurate you know loss size to use all right so you are going to be using that loss size to trade and take your entry there all right so that's how to calculate the amount you are risking now and the amount of loss size you want to take first of all decide how much you want to risk then when you want to take your trade determine the stop loss the point of the stop loss to the entry and then what you know divide it by the amount you are risking so now how much are you willing to take let's see how many reward we are going to be getting your target should be your range high which is here which is about 68 point. All right, so you have 68 point for a reward. So what you do is, um, since you are using a calculator, go to your calculator again, and then, you know, multiply 0 0.35 times 68. So what will your reward be? $23. So you are risking $5 to get $23.8 which is very okay all right so i think that's how to calculate your risk reward if you are still having issues with that so i'm going to be going to reach out to calculate personally myself okay so let's go to the reach out to find out all right um basically how means risk to reward ratio how much are you willing to risk how much do you want to get it varies per person some persons want to risk one and get one so if you are risking 14 point you want to get 14 point in return some people like one to two if you are risking 14 point you want to get 28 point some people like one to three if you are risking 14 point the simple meaning is that depending on your risk appetite and what you are willing to risk just multiply your risk by three or by the amount of ratios you want to get so for me i like um, one to three so 14 times three is where i target so what do i get 42 so as soon as i get 42 i'm off uh, no i'm not completely off i will close partial and then allow the rest to run so that's just basically what risk to reward is risk to reward is the amount you are risking and the amount of ratios you are getting so i like one to three and i'll go for that so let's go to the reach out to see what we are talking about although um for those that are using phone yeah you have to be pressing calculator and others but for those that are not using phone there are tools here that calculate that for you um long tools will tell you the amount of ratios you are getting from here to your stop loss and then to your intended tp so this will be um, about um, one to four risk to reward ratio which is okay so you are already good and then you are you are going so let's go to the reach out to see what is going on. All right. So let me go to H4. H4. Now, don't forget the formula. The amount you are risking divided by stop loss will give you your lot size. 
that's great that's great that's great so let's go now yesterday i spoke about this trade i told us this zone is where i'm marking all right so sorry now you were to put your since for those that were enter aggressively they are supposed to move their um to measure your stop loss put your horizontal line there and your horizontal line below so i'm coming so there's one horizontal line already below at the stop loss point so now measure it pitch your ruler to and measure how many pip stop loss is this so this is about 23 stop loss 23 stop loss then let's calculate how many loss size if you are risking five dollar that we're going to use for this um entry all right to the calculator let's see that's um five dollar divided by 23 what do you get you get 0 0.21 so you are risking you are going to be using the loss size of 0 0.21 on this trade all right so 0 0.21 is not supposed to be more than five dollar when you multiply by the amount you are using so that's 4.83 which is okay now how many for one to three since you are risking 23 for one to three multiply by three what do you have you have 69 so i'm targeting one um 69 point to get my one two three which is very simple and understandable so now how do i get my one to three 69 point very simple measure just measure coming so let's measure let me measure to get my 69 point from my entry to this place is it up to 69 yeah this is where 69 is so i hope that that get to 69 level so that we can rest all right thank you so that's just basically how to calculate risk management okay for those that trade vix asset they might be complaining and saying okay I'm not talking about VIX asset. It's the same process over and over. That's just a formula for it. Let me go to VIX 75, for instance. So VIX 75, for instance. I don't want the video to be long, uh, but I want you to get it detailed. Detailed. All right. So let's go to M30. I have a, a setup I marked there beforehand. All right. So now, um, I'm coming. All right, please allow this load. I don't know. All right. So this was the markup. Now, structure has broken here. We are waiting for a retest at this zone. This is the range low and this is the range high. Price retested it, and then we expect a move to the downside. How do you measure the area? Where I want to enter is this black line, and where my stop loss will be is this black line above because I want to sell. So now, let's measure this. So this is about, cannot be up to 2,000. What is happening? All right, so let's measure. Okay, this is about 1,009, 1,009 pips. Very simple. How do you calculate the amount of lot you want to use? All right, let's go to calculator. Let's go to our calculator. And then let's press $5, since that's the amount you are willing to use, divided by, let's say, 2,000. What will it give you? 0 0.0025. So this is the lot you are going to use. So you can use 0 0.02 or 0 0.003. So because of the five behind. So you can use either one. But then it, when you multiply it, it should be around your $5. So if you are using 0 0.002 times $5, sorry, times 2,000. That's the amount you are, you are risking, 0. 002 times 2000 you should get close to five dollar or 0 0.003 times 2000 you should get close to that amount all right so that's the amount you are risking on this trade so it's just very simple um uh, analysis so 
just try as much as possible to follow the calculations properly. You get your lot size accurately. No, no differences. Every asset is the same way. Carry the amount you want to risk. That's five dollar divided by the um, amount of um, points between your entry and your stop loss. Then you get your lot size. That's just how simple it is. Put your limit and then target one to three. One to three is um, the point you are risking multiplied by three. And then boom, that's your first target. You take off the market and then you relax yourself. So uh, I know questions will be rising, but then drop your questions in the comment box. Try as much as possible to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell. We have a Telegram group. Um, a Telegram handle. The link will be in the description. Um, the description space. Also, I have um, an IG handle. Try as much as possible to follow me on Instagram. Um, is there, and then I will add the link to the description um, and the description space. Um, thank you for watching. Cheers and God bless.